So we finally got Hakuno in the game. Uh, we have both the male and the female version, and I believe you're going to be able to pick which one you want after OC3. And I also believe that Hakuno is going to be in the friend point pool, just like uh, Habitron. Not sure if it's only one version or not. Uh, I didn't get a chance to play it before I had to go to work. Woke up too late and didn't want to stream half-assed. So, we already knew Hakuno's kit from last week. We had, but there was a certain part of it that we weren't sure was going to work the way it looked on paper. Uh, that's just because the skill wasn't maxed out. Uh, it was on a one turn cooldown, but because it wasn't maxed out, we had the assumption that it was going to be a zero turn cooldown skill. And it is. The interesting part about that skill, though, is it actually completely changes how you do uh, core farming for Buster and Quick to the point that for those two card types specifically, you don't need to do multi-core. Depending on the node, you might just get away with using an AoE and having them be able to card whenever you need them to. In my eyes, this is one of the biggest uh, changes to uh, Quick and Buster in a while. Like, Alco, great for farming, uh, but only really good for certain characters that have the merits in their crate. Hakuno is just going to make any AoE Quick or Buster unit just shine and be able to actually use uh, their bitch buffs and their, and their Scotty buffs to their absolute limit. So, uh, I just wanted to start off here on Atlas just so you could see the art. But, like I said, we already had a lot of this information already. Uh, it was data mined, and <clears throat> like we got, actually got to use Hakuno in game. So, but because this is still in development, it's going to be lacking here. So, anything that I need to, I'll just go back there. All right, so Moon Cancer, base stack 8.502. Oof. Just, um, just, just double checking everything lines up because this is the female Hakuno I'm bringing up. Male Hakuno is a di like a different character, but they're supposed to be like balance. Um, yep. Stack the same, HP the same. Awesome. Okay, so this value, it looks like a support value. It looks like a supports attack. It's below 9k. Uh, this isn't usually where you want to be for a four star, especially someone, someone that's supposed to be doing some damage. But at the same time, Hakuno is like really, I want to say sub DPS. Uh, it, like, but for quick and busters specifically, if you plan on carding support, you're not, you're not likely to be clicking Hakuno's cards except to probably enable the support a little more i'll explain in a bit uh on that later uh star weight star gen these are moon cancer numbers mp charge 0.6 percent they have a buster mp but this 0.6 percent is actually like really really important for how they farm and like if you run like you it's actually really good that it's quick and buster that are getting buffed because you can use Hakuno's arts card uh, for mighty chains. So you like make their carding even better. Uh, you are gonna want to be clicking the arts card just so you have are able to do her support thing like much easier. I'm being a little vague, but if you like playing through it, you know what I'm talking about. Like you need enough battery to be able to do it and do it a lot to get your best party. So four hits on quick, good. Three hits on arts. These are decent arts cards. Uh, four hit on buster and five hit extra attack. Uh, if you hit the extra attack, you will gen a good amount of stars and your MP charge isn't that bad. It's not that bad. So uh, pain point will just be the just attack of it. Like the extra attack isn't gonna do much attack, but at least it will, it will gen stars and it will give you a good chunk of battery. 
but in three turn farming you're probably not hitting the edge attack for Hakuno that is more CQ or when you need to what Hakuno needs to survive and I'll get on that in a bit too so let's get started this is the whole whole thing why I say Hakuno is going to revolutionize quick and buster farming involving carding he has infinite hard reroll as long as she has the battery for it and i mean if hmm, hakuno might actually no uh, sorry not hakuno alko might actually be able to neg this part too and if that's true then you this is really infinite reroll uh oof. I, I i actually can't wait to test that later um but yeah you pay 10 battery and you get to fully re-roll the deck meaning the weakness of quick being that you did not have cards when you actually needed card cards is gone as long as hakuno can have the battery have some charge they're able to do this and to like add on to it to make it so it's not just uh quick getting the benefit if you have fewer than 50 stars, you get 10 stars. And if you know how Vich works, the Buster cards are gonna get all the star weight anyway. So if all you're looking for is one Buster card, this is all you need, even though Buster doesn't gen stars that well. It, it gens it way better than Arts, but it's nowhere near to like the quick MPs that are getting like Charlemagne's that's getting 99 stars without even trying. So let me paint a scenario that I have been dealing with every time I log on to JP. I'm currently st farming uh, Bloodstones for uh, CL. That node is 3-3-1, three, three, but it's casters, uh, the first two waves, and then an archer, the th final wave. So I've been using Brita Mart to like farm. My issue though, is that I keep getting all of her cards in the first two waves when I'm not able to just card the um, little casters, like just ru the ruler Scotties on, on the side, they're not strong enough to do it. If I switch Mystic Codes, I probably could, but this is, I'm just talking about um, like how the setup works now. And like, if I plug suited in someone else, it really wouldn't be changing anything else. Like, sorry. If I plug suited someone else in, I would have to be changing what my like what i'm actually trying to do like i could bring in oberon but i don't want to bring in a five star i'm trying to farm the people in the back lane that's where hakuno would come in and i can just re-roll until i get uh one buster card uh yeah no one buster card with uh double ruler scotty that one buster card is literally able to kill that uh 240 000 hp archer like my issue like my issue isn't that i'm not hitting them hard enough because i kind of am but being able to card is just going to make it so much easier uh i w that i don't think hakuno is going to be able to stand by themselves like they're going to need to plug suit in uh the other support they're gonna need the double buffs you can't do hakuno uh, your dps and then bitch and not have another bitch come in to support like this is this is a character you're going to be married to plug suit just like you are with oberon but i don't think that's a bad thing because i don't want to use up oberon outside of um 90 plus plus hakuno feels like he can you can use her for 90 plus plus and I think she will shine greatly. It's just that if they inflate the health pools to the point that you would need to be using Oberon, that's where Hakuno is going to fall off. But for the earlier waves, Hakuno is going to be like much better because it's, it's very rare. Like the earlier waves in a node are going to be higher hp than the final wave it doesn't happen often and a lot of the times you can just insta kill that enemy 
So you might be thinking, oh, well, Hawk, all you're going to have is mana loading, or you might just have like a, a small battery. And you would be right. But Hakadon also has another way to get faster MP besides like the basic shit that any other servant has, mana loading and then small battery. Omni power buff of 30% for each card type lasts for three turns and each and has extra effects to go with it. And remember, because she can, re uh, they can reroll. I'm saying they because it's both Hakanos, by the way. Um, it's two, it's uh, two attacks, three turns. When you pop a quick buff, you get a dodge. And considering Hakuno only has the one quick card, it's not like it's actually possible to use this up in the same time. Second, if you do an art spot card, you get 20 battery. So by default, ignoring any kind of refund, she already gets two more rerolls of this just by clicking the arts card and having Hakuno actually attack. So, or Mighty Chains, this is invaluable because it just means like she just she will just be able to keep doing what she's already doing. You don't have to change anything, and like they're guaranteed to at least get two stacks. Is depending on where you put the arts card, you might get, or if you crit, you might get more than two rerolls. You might get three, four. If you crit, you might get six. Um, it just depends on what buffs are going around. Like if you're using a DPS with AOE art buffs, like this is going to change the like AOE quick at arts. Like, and then the final one for damage up for three turns when normal attacking with buster cards, uh, they have to specify normal attacking for all this because Hakuno has a buster MP and you could, if there wasn't this restriction, you would just like it would actually proc before the MP. So like if you were doing a Buster Brave Chain, you would start off with already 40% crit damage. They they didn't want that. Because uh, like the quick buff has a restriction of two times three turns. These two don't have restrictions. So this one actually you could just be spamming Buster Brave Chains. And then that last turn of Buster cards, you'd have uh, 120% Buster crit through their own skills. Like they're, they're not putting restriction on this. Very nice. I do like that. Um, yeah, no, this is a really good uh, Omni card bus buff. Um, and I think it's fine. It's not targeted. I think that. I, I think if this skill was targeted, oh my fucking god. Holy shit. Like, Hakuno would be such a good support. Hey, Lasagna, maybe that's the buff you do for them. And last skill. You get to choose what power mod you have of the big three. Sky, Earth, Man. All at 30%. And you get a 30 battery. So yeah, Hakuno is also able to do buster farming and they can adjust what power mod they have depending on the enemy. Also, you get 10 stars per turn. So by default, especially because Hakuno uh, is probably going into the friend point pool, uh, you're going to have five rerolls at maxed out mana loading and th skill three which for a lot of people, I'm pretty sure is going to be more than enough, especially because for AOE waves, they're less likely to need carding, but at lower MP copies of your DPS, you are going to be able to card after the MP and really not have to worry about battery because like quick will actually get to use their quick cards to crit and get MP back. So my TLDR is that the lower your MP copy is for Hakuno, the better, no, sorry. The lower your MP copy is for your DPS, the more you can abuse Hakuno and do carding afterwards. And 
alleviate the burden of why you would even be plug suiting in another support in the first place, which is usually refund. Like outside of like normal farming, like a lot of people just use 50% chargers just to like load up, load them up. They kind of don't care about the buffs uh, if refund is not a concern. Like in buster farming, uh, for the most part, if you don't have Oberon and your DPS is a 50% charger, it doesn't matter whether you're using Castoria, Scotty, uh, Reigns, Waver, it doesn't matter for the most part because all of them, you just care about the charge. Passives, independent action EX, 12%. Code cast A, 5% arts, buster, crit damage, regalia of the moon, pretty much uh, 10% attack against all enemies oh wait uh yeah no it's saying enemies it's not even saying servants and it's pretty much every single class including shielder including shielder which is interesting and then foreigner and npc only classes are excluded uh my understanding of this is literally that any servant that is able to be summoned by the moon cell akino has advantage over because they have regalia of the moon so this and if you didn't know this is confirmed that this is extra um or not extra extella because charlemagne and altera uh show up the way they do okay so pens mana loading is a must you're gonna want to get this up as soon as possible uh it's just gonna enable hakano to do their thing more times otherwise if you don't have this yet uh they're gonna be having to have the third skill like maxed out and you only have three re-rolls re you're gonna have to do arts carding at that point uh if your rng is bad uh yeah so third skill isn't shown here But I believe this is where we'll see the difference. So female Hakano has anti-foreigner. And let's see about male Hakano. Oh, okay. No, they're actually identical. Yeah, like usually the Valks. Like I I could have sworn like the Valks had um different append threes, but I guess not. Um So, going back. All right. Their MPs are the same. Anti purge defense for one turn. Anti Castoria. Anti Alco. Anti Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Who? Oh my God, I can't English this morning. You uh, know, Cuckoo is not even English. Anti Cuckoo. Yeah, I don't know why I'm trying to go all the way. All right, but it has a special thing. Cannot inv ignore evasion. So there was a new triangle that was introduced. Anti-purge pierces invul and uh, solemn defense, but it doesn't pierce dodge. Sure hit only pierces dodge. Invul only, um, only hits through dodge and invul. So dodge got a buff. It's a slight one, but it does mean that we're going to see this uh, buff on bosses a lot. We're going to start seeing this a lot. And being completely honest, I think this is this is taking way too long to come into the game. Castoria's solemn defense has been too oppressive for far too long. You pretty much couldn't load up a CQ and not be using Castoria unless you were doing a min turn. Uh, for the most part, like any bosses that have like unremovable invul pierce, you are kind of fucked unless you were using Castoria. Uh, for example, or yeah, for like Arjuna Altar in the Super Recollections or Arjuna. I'm just bad at like speaking this morning. I'm I don't I don't know what it is. My brain is fried. Uh, 
um how you, if you broke the second bar you would immediately get invo pierce and the mp like right after you would use cast story to block that and that was a good utility of it however we kept getting boss fights with plenty of debuff spam uh and spamming like invo unblockable ugh, unremovable invo to the point that for a lot of people castoria was the only way they were clearing cqs i don't think that was a bad thing at the time but that was four years ago for jp like let me say that again castoria came out four years ago on jp and she never had something that really countered her that wouldn't counter anyone else being buff removal only like the servants that already had buff removal actually could take advantage of it and not lose it and survive whatever bullshit mechanic happened that would wipe everyone else out uh going back to this chance is done low chance and also this mp is aoe which really nice for anti purge so with us actually having a way to get bypass on defense i do think we're gonna see like bosses with this mechanic um more often and we're probably gonna see more servants that have this mechanic uh so we're gonna have to go back over here for a lot of this so materials you need it's saber and wait what huh okay so hakuno is the first i actually have to double check whether these are the same or not um female hakuno needs saber oh okay actually no no they're gonna be the same and saber archer caster it, it, there's there's a really good reason for that um so i'm not even i'm i'll check but it's probably the same exact thing like if you played extra you know why yeah no it's saber archer caster um after set after you get to seven plus steel and the i forget what this is the tiaras i call them tiaras and then you need uh comet shards and the new mats come from oc3 that you can farm in storm pods and finally they're a bond ce and again it's the same for both of them 30 percent mp damage 50 percent extra card performance up and if you do an extra attack you get 10 stars on top of everything this last part really does make sense though considering uh bb got that on her self modification for both og bb and summer bb like uh with moon salt so the same time king protea got her last buff is when they got this that buff too honestly kind of makes sense why they even got that buff in the first place if hakuno was already uh in development back then and they had an idea for her doing this i don't have to tell you to summon for her i'm telling you you should be leveling her if you like quick and if you get no if you get frustrated when you're doing scotty looping or even vich looping and you want to do carding and then you just get fucked this is the server that's gonna make it so you don't get fucked anymore she will give you that kind of protection that you need from the bad people like the horny nun she will keep you safe from the horny nun all right that's hakuno uh i will be doing oc3 when i come back from work so probably like four or five hours after the release i do have to go food shopping and my dog my dog is going to be in the apartment this weekend so i will see you guys later peace thank you for making it to the end of this video if you enjoyed drop a like or sub hope to see you in the next one peace